and welcome back to another video from Lynn Electrics. We are often asked what makes the big yellow 110 volt transformers safer. After all, people say it's not extra low voltage, so how does that work then? Well, in this short video, we hope to explain to you why they improve your chances of survivability. Let's begin by looking at what is inside the transformer housing. We will use a simple schematic and we have left off the fuses, RCDs and the reset buttons for clarity. The transformer has two sides to it. Shown in red here is the primary side or primary winding. It is nothing more than lots of copper alloy wound around a former many hundreds or thousands of times. Shown here is the incoming live or phase supply, the neutral and, of course, the earth. Now we show the secondary side in red. Notice that the secondary winding is split into two equal halves and, compared to the primary side, there are less windings. There is no neutral on the secondary side. The conductors are named line 1 and line 2. Plus, we have the earth. Also inside the yellow transformer housing are lots of metallic laminations or metal plates that are shown here in red. This is what makes the transformer heavy. It is full of copper windings and metal. The laminations though perform an essential role. They provide a pathway for the transfer of electromagnetic energy from the primary incoming side to the secondary or output side. Transformers do not transfer electricity directly. They transfer it by setting up electromagnetic fields that can travel through the metallic laminations from the primary windings to the secondary windings. For this transformer, if we look at the primary or input side, we can see that the phase or line is at a potential of 230 volts. The neutral and earth are the same point electrically at zero volts potential. And back at the main transformer in the street, they are physically connected together. The secondary side is a little different. Between line one and line two, there is 110 volts of electricity. But notice that the winding is in two halves and that the earth shown here in red is connected to the midpoint between the two secondary windings. Because the number of windings on the secondary side has gone down, we can say that this transformer is a step down transformer. This means that the output voltage will go down as well. In this case, we have 230 volts going in, but only 110 volts coming out. Obviously, any equipment or tools connected to it are designed to work at 110 volts. How does it achieve this? It is the ratio of the number of turns of copper wire in the windings. If there are less turns on the secondary side, the output voltage will go down. As an example, let us say we had 4,000 turns of copper for the winding on the input side and only 1,900 turns on the output side. Then some simple maths will tell us that with 230 volts going in, we could only expect 110 volts out. And it really is no more complicated than that. Let us return to the midpoint connection of the secondary winding. Because this midpoint is earthed at zero volts, it will divide the 110 volts in half. We can say that the upper winding has a potential of 55 volts to earth, and that the lower winding also has a potential of 55 volts to earth. If we look at the voltages now, we can see that we have 55 volts, zero volts in the middle, and another 55 volts. This is often called a 55 55 system. 
or we can call it a CTE system, or to use its full name, a Centre Tapped Earth system. But how does this keep you safe? Let's begin by looking at the 230 volt primary side. Our little mate here, quite correctly, connected a lead to the 230 volt supply. Nothing wrong with that, except that the lead is damaged and he makes contact with live conductors in the cable. Because his feet are at ground or zero potential, he now has 230 volts in potential difference between his hands and his feet. Electricity is going to flow through his body pretty quickly and he may well suffer a fatal electric shock. Now, suppose that our friend had instead connected to the secondary or output side of the transformer. This lead is also damaged and his hands make contact with a live conductor. Again, his feet are at zero volts ground potential, but this time his hands are only at 55 volts in relation to earth. 55 volts is only just above the 50 volt limit for extra low voltage and for most healthy adults is still survivable. But at 110 volts, you will be pushing your luck just a little bit too far. If you want to learn more about the different voltage bands, Learn Electrics has published a video about extra low voltage on our YouTube channel. So, you can see that by using a 110 volt centre tapped earth transformer, we are stepping down the voltage from 230 volts to 110 volts between line 1 and line 2. This 110 volts is used to supply the equipment and tools that have been designed to work at this 110 volt supply. Then the 110 volt side has been centre tapped to earth. This means that each half has only 55 volts potential to earth. This reference to earth is important as you, me or the workman will almost certainly be stood on the ground or we may be stood on some structure or scaffolding that is at earth potential. 230 volts is certainly dangerous and so is 110 volts. But at 55 volts between any line and earth, the chances of surviving an electric shock are greatly improved. Construction sites are considered to be one of the most frequent workplaces for electric shocks and other injuries. The Health and Safety at Work Act places a duty of care on site managers and supervisors. And this duty of care includes ensuring that all persons on site are reasonably and practically protected from the harmful effects of electricity. One method is to ensure that all persons are not exposed to more than 55 volts of electric shock or 63 and a half volts for three phase. By using 110 volt equipment through a centre tapped transformer, this can be achieved. But how can the site manager be sure that this is actually happening? If everyone is using a big yellow transformer and equipment with yellow plugs on the end, then it is easy to check visually that everybody is complying. The transformer and plugs are highly visible and easily recognised. There is nothing else that looks like a yellow 110 volt transformer. And because the plugs are not interchangeable between different voltage systems, then everyone must be using 110 volt tools and equipment. This 55055 centre tapped earth system has been shown to be safer. It is called a reduced low voltage system. It is not extra low voltage, but it has been reduced to a voltage as low as possible to be safe and to still be workable. And this will improve your chances of surviving contact with live parts. And there we have it. We hope you've enjoyed this video from Learn Electrics. 
and that you have added more knowledge to your mental toolbox. We publish our Tech Tips videos every week on a range of electrical subjects for electricians and also help videos for householders. You can find all these videos on our YouTube channel Learn Electrics and if you click the subscribe button below you will get access to all these videos. Clicking on subscribe also helps us at Learn Electrics too and it is very much appreciated. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.